Hallo zusammen. This kind of special German lesson is dedicated to all lovers of great sophisticated music. That kind of music in which playful complexities and thought-provoking lyricism meet. In other words, a band like Tool. I honestly can't wait to see these progressive metal pioneers live for the first time in my whole entire life this year at Rock am Ring in Germany, which is pretty much Germany's biggest rock and, well, kind of metal festival as well. That alone is awesome by itself, but then the icing on the cake is the upcoming fifth studio album, which is gonna be out on August 30th. I'm stoked. And on top of all that, pretty much die Sahne auf dem Kuchen, mm -hmm. they also premiered two new songs live, Descending and Invincible just a few days ago and uh, I love them both. So today's video is dedicated to Tool and I'm gonna translate a couple of their song titles to German and well tell you more about them what they could be translated to and well just gonna do that because why not? I love music, you love music as well I guess, let's go for it. I remember that back in the day, around 2007, 2008-ish, I'd say, around the time when I first got introduced to progressive music and, well, I started listening to that actively, I was aware of the band Das Werkzeug, Tool, but I was a bit hesitant at that time because I wasn't as experienced with progressive music and I, well, something inside of me told me, okay, you're not ready for this yet. You have to wait and see, you have to experience something else first and you have to listen to more progressive music first in order to listen to Tool. Sounds strange, I know, but that's the way I felt back then. Then a couple of years went by, I wrote my A-levels and I think back then, at the end of 2011, 2012, a friend of mine told me about Tool once again, out of nowhere pretty much, and then I thought like, oh yeah, I remember that band. And it was around that time that I first listened to Tool and that I experienced the band for the first time because she actually gave me a few song suggestions. And the first song by Tool I've ever listened to is Anima. Now this term, the song title in question, isn't too easy to translate to German since it's a so-called portmanteau term, meaning das Kofferwort, two words creatively melted together. The term is derived from the Latin noun animus, the spirit, der Geist, and the English anima, der Einlauf, basically being, well, sort of inherited or filled with spirituality. Compared to many other tool tracks, this one sounds a bit more zugänglich, accessible, I'd say. The same can be said for The Pot, a song on 10.000 Tage, for Der Tag, Singular, Die Tage, Plural. 10,000 days. It's an ambiguous noun, which depending on the context can mean der Topf singular, die Töpfe plural, respectively der Pot singular, die Pötte plural, a more colloquial variant of that, the kitchen pot, or for instance das Gras, a slang term meaning das Haschisch or das Marihuana, cannabis. Along with one of my all-time favorite Tool songs, the lateralis opener The Grudge, Der Night or Der Groll, which features a monumental, extremely raw and powerful, also tribal-like scream by Der Sänger, the singer Maynard James Keenan, the fourth and as of May 11th, also current studio album 10,000 Days, features one of the best opening tracks in my opinion. It's vicarious, an adjective that translates to stellvertretend, although in the song it's used as the adverb vicariously, which can also mean indirect, indirectly. The second also really cool sounding track Jambi could refer to an Indonesian province or town or a historic sultanate, which also gets referred to in the lyrics themselves. Feast like a sultan I do. Ich schlemme wie ein Sultan, der Sultan, singular, die Sultane, plural. And the infinite form of the verb here is schlemmen, to feast. Or it might rather indirectly refer to a poetic meter, der Jambus, the Iamb. Listening to all these awesome tracks divides my being right in two, genau and zwei, respectively the passive structure and zweit werden, to get separated, split or divided. Great philosophical song. And those who bravely wait for a heavy outburst in this one might be called the patient. Die Geduldigen, plural, der Geduldige, singular, a noun derived from the adjective geduldig, patient. 
In both English and German you also have the noun der Patient, singular, die Patienten, plural, the patient. Hey, don't worry too much about splitting things right in two. Ich weiß, dass die Stücke zusammenpassen, denn ich habe gesehen, wie sie auseinanderfallen. This track called Das Schisma, singular, die Schismen, plural, aka die Spaltung, singular, die Spaltungen, plural, the separation, I mean schism, really is what Rush's Geddy Lee referred to as a jam. Ultimate jam, best jam. And that is so true. The bass riff really shows how important der Bassist, the bass player Justin Chancellor is for the unique sound of the band. And funny, well not so funny enough, I actually became aware of the existence of this term schism, das Schisma, through this song. The bass also really flows well with the pounding fast drums in the very powerful ticks, die Zecke, singular, die Zecken, plural, and leeches, der Blutsauger, singular, die Blutsauger, plural, the bloodsucker. Another really tight and early tool song I've listened to all the way back when I discovered them for the first time is Drittes Auge, Third Eye, for Das Auge, singular, die Augen, plural. Another total two classic even back in the day was Nüchtern, Sober, one of the first popular tracks on the first Tool album Undertow, Der Sog, Singular, Die Soge, Plural, or Die Gegenströmung, Singular, Die Gegenströmungen, Plural. Two other great rhythmic early Tool tracks are Eulogy, Die Lobrede, Singular, Die Lobreden, Plural, and Hush. Die Stille or Das Schweigen on the first Tool EP Opiate, which his title also has a more or less direct connection to the well-known German sentence Religion ist das Opium des Volkes. Religion is the people's opiate, a socio-critical statement made by the German economist and philosopher Karl Marx. Stinkfist, the opener for Anima, wouldn't change too much in German. It probably would be die Stinkfaust, singular, die Stinkfäuste, plural. Notice the different pronunciation of the ST consonant combination in German. Stinkfaust, Stinkfist. It's an even though made up compound word, which is common in German regarding the creation of words. In this case it's a combination of the verb stinken, to stink, and die Faust, singular, die Fäuste, plural, the fist, and because it's a compound word we can also determine the feminine article die by looking at the grammatical gender of the last component, the noun die Faust. These primarily used type of compound words in the German language are called determinative composita, determinative compound words, a linguistic information as sophisticated as the music requires. And of course, as a native German, I can't make a video about potential translations of two song titles without naming the infamous Die Eier von Satan, which means Satan's eggs or balls, since in German das Ei, singular, die Eier, plural, can refer to both ordinary eggs and also to balls in a slang way. And even though it might remind of a harsh political speech sonically without, well, knowing the context, it's simply a recited recipe for der Hashkeks, singular, die Hashkekse, plural, the hash cookies. Yep, that's what it's all about. You listen to various steps of making hash cookies, including the sexy term gefettetes Backblech, a greased baking pan, und keine Eier, and no eggs. However, becoming serious again for the last song title I'd like to mention, it's Flügel für Mary, respectively Wings for Mary, an extremely touching track, along with its second part 10,000 Tage, 10,000 Days. One of the most intense songs by Tool and by any other band I've ever listened to for sure. I'd like to know, what was the first Tool song you've ever listened to? What was your reaction like? Did you like it at first? Did you understand it right away? Also, what is your favorite Tool album if you have one? Have you seen them live yet? Are you as excited for the new album as I am? And do you enjoy the two new songs Descending and Invincible as much as I do? I'd really like to know all of that, so feel free to comment down below and feel free to share this video with others as well. If you want to do that, that's greatly appreciated. That helps a channel like mine, a little channel, immensely. So thanks for doing that. 
and well what's left for me to say i think well thanks for watching i'm your vlog dave spiral out keep going winde dich heraus bleib dran